he goes under. Good morning. We are back at Mr. Isaac's game design class. Uh, today we're going to be playing around a little bit with Minecraft, but uh, more so we're going to be looking at Code Builder and the Code Connection app to show how you can code in Minecraft. And originally, um, this was available only in the Education Edition. I come to realize that you can now use Code Connection with the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft, which really opens this up to so many people. Uh, so I'm going to resume my game here. And in order to establish the connection with Code Connection, there's several ways you could do that. The easiest when it works is to just type slash code, and it should launch Code Connection, which it looks like it did, and allows me right away to choose what I want to connect with. Basically, it connected with an out. It connects with an outside like server, in a sense, to allow you to do your coding, and then you're going to be actually integrating your code, or I should say, executing your code right in Minecraft to make stuff happen in Minecraft. Now there are currently four environments you can use, and in class you'll have opportunities to use all of them. I'm going to start with Make Code because that just happens to be my favorite currently. Um, but Code.org, if you do. Um, like the hero's journey activity on code.org, or even just go right into this, you'll start to see you can actually code using the code.org environment and execute your code in Minecraft. Same with make code, scratch, and tinker. So all pretty exciting stuff. So when I launch make code here, it's going to open up make code. And in theory, I could have the two windows. Uh, where'd my make code window go? Where did you go, make code? There it is. Okay, so right now I can technically have both windows open. Um, personally, I prefer to have both of them full screen and toggle between them. Uh, it's just the way I prefer. I like to see everything. So that's where we kind of get to learn a little bit about um, toggling with Alt-Tab. So if I hit Alt-Tab, I can go between Code Connection and Minecraft. Okay. Now, one of the really neat things about this is there are all these tutorials that you'll get to even do. And the way I handle this, just so you know, um, all of these tutorials, if you do them, you can do them as a quest in class. But the way that I structure this is the first thing you're going to do is basically be following a tutorial step by step. Okay, there's it's great for learning what the different steps are. It's not great for being creative on your own and really demonstrating your understanding of the coding. So for any quest that deals with the tutorial, you'll do the tutorial and then you'll mod it. We'll call it like um, build it, mod it, or code it, mod it, where you're going to mod it so that it is a little more original. So right now, and this is always a, a very fun first one because I haven't met anybody yet that doesn't love chickens falling from the sky in Minecraft. Okay. Um, so this one, real simply, when I go through the tutorial, it's going to allow me to recreate that chickens falling from the sky. So I'm going to hit next here, um, and it's we're going to change the chat command. So basically, a chat command. One of the reasons I like make code is it works a lot with these chat commands. So I'm going to name this chicken, and basically, what I'm creating in coding is a subroutine. Or a, so when I type in chicken, it's going to execute whatever code is within this this um, code, okay? So chicken, so I'm going to very simply at first spawn an animal, which in this case is going to be a, what animal is this? That is a chicken, okay? And I'm going to just start by having the coordinates for this chicken be, it probably tells me something a little different, spawn your chicken. I'm just going through the tutorial here. Okay, and here it's showing you how this is going to work. So if I, when I type in chicken, it's going to spawn a chicken at, in this case, the tilde. Anybody know what the tilde means in terms of coordinates in Minecraft? Where you are right now. Relative to where I am right now. So tilde zero, tilde zero, tilde zero is exactly where I am. If I was using absolute coordinates and I did zero, 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 where would the chicken spawn? The, the center of the earth, right? And I'm probably not there. Yeah, it's underground. So I would not know that it really executed my code. So if I'm using absolute coordinates, I probably want to know where I am. If I'm not using absolute coordinates, the relative coordinates are great. So based on this, where is this chicken going to spawn? Above you. Well, uh, 
Yeah, no, if I set it just like this, it's going to spawn where? Above me by how many uh, blocks? Okay, well, it says 0, 10, 0. 10. ten. Okay, so it's going to be... Now, this is the X, the Y, and the Z. X, we think of as, like... I think of it as, like, east, west, left, right. Z is um, forward, back, and Y is up and down. So this would be 10 above me, being that I'm doing it relative. So in mine, I just did 20. I, I, I think I could take the liberty to do that. Okay, so now this is where it gets super cool. So I wrote this little bit of code. I used... Uh, drag and drop, you know, block coding for this. I go into Minecraft, and in the pouring rain, it's not only going to be raining rain, it's going to be raining a chicken. Okay, luckily chickens have wings-ish because, and th this guy, my agent, this is the coolest guy in the world. He looks little, I think he looks a little like a monkey, or, but he's like a robot. He, I can program him to do stuff with this code builder, Okay. So in this case, I didn't really program him to do that. We'll get to that in another lesson. But um, anytime I type in chicken and I look up, here it comes right on my head. Okay, now it gets fun when you decide that we should maybe repeat this and use a loop and spawn a number of chickens. How about... It says 100. I'm going to go with 50 for now. Okay. Now, we just made our first mod, it says. And this is kind of cool because what happens is, I'll show you in a second. But when I go chicken, of course, first of all, these chickens are going to fall. Now, lucky for chickens, like I said before, chickens have these lovely wings. So they kind of, it's almost like having its own parachute, right? Yeah. However, if I do pigs and i could change this but i don't have to this is me sort of modding it only a little i'd want you to mod it more than just changing chickens to pigs um but when i do this the story ends a little differently oops yeah what happened to the pigs well, oh did some of them fall in the water i can't even get out of here help pig I know I'm trying to. Okay, so there, luckily, some of them fell in the water. Some of them, not so lucky. But now at least we have dinner, right? Okay? So that's how that works, right? Now, just to go a little further, when I hit finish here, so see, look, first, for, just so you understand how these tutorials work, this, it's giving me only limited options right now because it wanted me to follow the tutorial. When I hit finish, watch what happens. Now it gives me all of the options. So when you go to mod this, that's where you could get creative and decide, hey, I'm going to do some interesting things here. Yes? Does it only work with spawn eggs or could I do it with any eggs either, let's say, mine parts? Um, you okay. probably can. I'm trying to think. You would probably, you know what? That's what your mod is going to be. Yeah. But what you would probably do, I don't know if you would have to place a mine cart at a certain spot and it would just fall. Yeah. We'll figure that out, right? Those are the beautiful things I want you to figure out. But understand from a coding standpoint, we have all these different options. Remember when I was talking about, um, see, these are all with the tilde. And this would have been if I wanted it to be the absolute. See how it says in the world, zero, zero, zero? That would be for where it would spawn in the world, okay? You have your agent who has all sorts of commands. You have gameplay commands. You can set the weather clear. You can do all sorts of things. So, for starters, like I said, I want you to go beyond the pigs or chickens falling from the sky, and I see people's wheels are already turning, and see what you could come up with. And there should be a quest in here for, um, I think it's called Codecraft in the Minecraft area. Uh, it's either in the Minecraft, or it's actually in the coding area. So, you may begin with that, and we'll continue to do cool stuff. And what I'd really like to do for these videos is for the next one, show a bunch of your mods to the good people watching us on the YouTube. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.